Hey, how y'all doing? We're back with a brand new game this time. It's the remake of my favorite mobile Zelda game. It's Link's Awakening that just launched a day ago. Goddamn, I'm already excited about this. That's a fantastic intro. They did a good job re redoing that. It's also really loud on my end. No heart drops. Yeah, we're playing normal. I'm fine with that. Okay. Alright, so... Here's something I didn't show when I streamed the uh, original. There's a there's a an Easter egg at the naming screen, and I, and I've heard word that it's still here. So uh, God damn it. Okay, I think it's just repeating. That's... that's fantastic. That is such a great Easter egg. I love that. I have a feeling this is already gonna be my game of the year. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name is Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholint Island. Realizing I also um, misspelled Koholint. Let me just fix that. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Well, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Got our Hillian shield, so we use the, uh... Is that our bumper or our trigger? Okay, so it's our our trigger. Oh, our trigger and our bumper, okay. This is a stand for something? It says Piranha Plant. Oh boy, collectibles. So we're gonna we're gonna be like we're not taking our time with this. We are or, no, we are taking our time with this, I'm sorry. We're not rushing through this. I'm taking my sweet time. I wanna see all of the stuff that happens. I want all I want everything. All right, I don't like the blurring around the edges. Can we get rid of the blurring around the edges? All right, so bad news is I can't... I can't turn the music down. So everything's gonna be loud on my end and the blur around the edges Oh yeah, D-pad's not functioning all. So let's see. Hey, Elegant Frost and Iggy. How you both doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> hey man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. You get there by opening subscreen with plus and then pressing R to get to the system screen. Don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. All right, so they're doing a lot of one-to-one -one here. Yeah, that blur is just not effective at all. Yahoo, I'm fine, and you? There's our friend Bow Wow. Hey, Bow Wow. I'm gonna see how this... Yep, they've still got the little <laughs> chow chow. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. Sorry, and some new accessories would be nice. So it looks like... I, I think they're doing a full one-to-one. -one. I don't know if they've added anything, but they definitely uh, did a, a proper full recreation of this. Which I'm fine with. Here's Madam Meow Meow. And chow chow. I mean, I like the plastic look. But that blur is headache inducing. 
I don't know what they were thinking with that. I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you better go find a big fairy. Why? Well, I have no idea. I'm just a kid. I heard that you could press minus to look at the island map. Not only that, you could stick pins in it. Alright, so we have uh, map markers. So let's head to the shore. Octoroks. Or I think these are Octoroks. Oh my god, these are adorable. I hate them, but they're adorable. I mean, a big positive is you're not, uh... I don't know if it's much of a positive, though. Let's see if it, uh... You can't, uh, lock yourself into one position. Which I find peculiar. Oh! Leave her! Leave her! Running away. All right, well, don't don't spoil too much. I know I played the original, but I want to. I'm going into this completely unawares of any changes they made. So let me find out everything on my own. Hoot hoot! So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should go now north to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there. Hoot. Let's see if we can pull off our first kill. You found your sword. It must be yours because it's your name engraved on it. You can swing with B to attack any enemies in your path. Yeah! Okay, that's a very satisfying... I don't like that uh, weird tin... Like, tinny noise that hit. Listen. You hear that little squeak that happens? I don't like that. But other than that, the swing of the sword's very... That's a nice sword swing. Too weak to lift a bush. And you're gonna save this island. I don't think so, buddy. Some apples in that tree. Let's get our first heart piece. I wish I could turn down the sound on my end because it's definitely peaking. A piece of heart. It's interesting that they went to Mabe Village and gave Mabe Village the, uh, sort of a music box sound. Okay, so you can still hit the doggies. Let's see if they fixed this up at all, or if you could still game this. Oh, you bastards! Oh, we need more rupees. Ah, oh, man, we can't we can't game it like we did uh, in the original. God, that this this grass is so satisfying to cut. Ooh, a blue rupee. Secret seashell nearby. There you are. Not in the same spot as it used to be. Looks like there's some auto-saving, too. Secret Seashell used to be, I believe, on this this square. Definitely don't remember Moblins being this close to the, the village. Sorry, my OCD won't let me uh, go without clearing those squares. Kind of important. All right, let's see how this works. Yeah. One play, 10 rupees. Hit me with it. Buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Over to buttons to play. Uh, 
Okay. So, A is to move right, and... Oh, God! That move is fast. Ooh, yeah. Not fond. Not fond. Damn it. They know, though. They knew that we were used to this damn thing. Fuckers. Because we need that Yoshi. At least cutting grass is really, uh, satisfying. Oh wow, they didn't do it. They did a full 180 degree swing. I wasn't even paying attention to his, uh, swing. And he's definitely uh, left-handed. I'm fine without the 90 degree swing. I hated the 90 degree swing. I want my swings to have a broad range. And we're we're going to have to disagree on that. Actually, I want to try to go for that purple rupee. There we go. Oh no, it's got physics. Oh, you better stay the hell in there. I'll kill a motherfucker. All right, good. <laughs> That's the ticket. Okay. The trick is to go underneath it first. And then grab it. You shit! <laughs> Eat my taint. Hate you. Screw you, Yoshi! Let's try to get that heart piece. I think we got this. No, we don't got this. Yes! <laughs> I am the best at the crane game! I am the king! <laughs> you can't count how many games you've seen him in now. You're right, I can't. Oh, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to get do that forever. My mom is really desperate to have one. Okay, so there's our first major change. Is it tells you where to take that for the next part of that quest line. As you remember, that was an important quest line we have to do. Stupid dog. This is a really good place to farm rupees outside of the uh, crane game. 
Oh, let's check in to see how much we're going to need. Hey, it's you, Call. How you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. You're not late. 200 rupees. Okay. Oh, he has a heart piece. Okay, so that definitely have changed a few things. So we need 400 rupees. I bet we can't do... I bet they don't have any of the old glitches. Alright, Tyron went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this, it's called the Ballad of the Windfish. Alright folks, we're about to hear the... For the first time, the modern rendition of Ballad of the Windfish. Love it. Oh, we've got some wood instruments going now. Man, this soundtrack's freaking good. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Absolutely. Thank you, you are indeed a generous person. I will give you this in return. Now we got the bow. Maybe we could trade the ribbon for something else. Luckily, we know where to go. Here's Papal. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. I love that. Oh, we got another thing. Is this a stand for something? It says, Pokey. Look at the little fishy up there! I think that's supposed to be a child's rend rendition of the windfish. Hey, there's a pineapple. If you've played through the original game, that's very significant. There's more stands. A lot of stands. Spiny. Boo. Shy guy. A lot of little collectibles we're going to have to keep our eye out. There's the dream shrine. We'll get our ocarina there. Oh, it's not a dog, it's a fox. Here's fishing. Hmm. How about some fishing? Chen rupees. Hold A and release to cast your line out. Longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on the line by moving the left stick. Reel it in quickly by tapping L. Or by A. See how this one turned out. Oh, that's a lot of bloom. That's an unfortunate amount of bloom. And look, there's a... Hey, there's something, uh, look in the bottom left. Uh, just by the three fronds there. Something out there. Yeah, I think it's a bottle. fish this thing out. I love this. I love this game so much. 
Let's think this is worth five. Or not. It's a lunker, apparently. 17 rupees, all right. We get a new lore? What? Get the middleweight. Oh, okay, so we couldn't go for the big fish until we did the, uh, until we get the, uh, smaller one. Hey, we get a heart piece. Hey, Lord Tyrion, how you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. Also, don't let me know anything about this game. I have only played the, I played the originals and all that, but I wanted, I wanted to go into all this new stuff completely new. Hot, fresh, and ready to rock. As the kids say, I think. Oh, too far. I didn't want you. I mean, I'm loving this so far. So this one's not as big, I don't think. Landed a little fish, just like you. It's small, but plenty of fight. 13.25. That's worth 13 rupees. It's still 10 more, so we still have an extra three over. We get another piece of heart? What the fuck is going on? We got, we got our first we got our first heart increase. We haven't even touched a dungeon yet. Hmm. Huh. Alright. No! Come back! Later, Terry. Oh, these are. Ah, come on! Take it! Ah! Why are you such an asshole? Take the lore! <laughs> this fish is the worst. I hate him. Gotcha! Yeah! Come here, you jerk! I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this. This sucks. Yeah, wow, that was garbage. So the line's just gonna break. This is not good. Maybe if I just hit A like rhythm rhythm rhythmically. Come on! Oh, fuck! 
this. This sucks. This is easily the worst part of the game. This, this is garbage. Yeah, they completely ruined that. I've been actual fishing. And caught a big fish, too. Oot, hope, Ray Lad. On your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholin Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited Tail Cave which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. Windfish is watching. Hoot. Funny enough, one of my favorite types of uh, games is fishing games. But, uh, nah, they botched that minigame up hard. That is shockingly bad. Ow. So using the shield doesn't lock you into place. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. <laughs> You're gonna lo be lost thanks to me. Oh. I very super do not like the, uh, the bordering. Oh, that's a neat little effect. So one of the uh, things you kind of lose in translation from the original to this is because it's no longer uh, tile-based. Uh, unless you played the original, it's a little rough getting an idea of where you need to go based off this map. Like, Oh, actually not. I'm wrong. I'm going to take back what I was just saying, because they still have the map laid out in a semi-tile form, and it gives you clear di directional paths uh, that you didn't get in the original. So this is actually a better map. Yeah, I like this map a lot more. The fairy? I never visited her in the original. Hey, boy, and it's third. How you doing? Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having a great day. I'm salty about fishing. Wait, didn't I... Did I clear all this? Maybe I didn't. So, remembering how we did it in the original... Oops. Yeah, it seems to be a common complaint uh, right now is the lack of D-pad use. I mean, so far I'm okay with it, but I can see why other people wouldn't be. So they were crystals. Yeah, for some people, they prefer D-pad, other people prefer, uh, st I prefer stick, to be honest. I'm actually getting a lot of, uh, enjoyment out of it, just having it. So here in the dungeon, we have the original proper tile base. Yeah, it's, it's only eight directional, it's not full free. I still think it's, honest to god, it's super weird that, uh, you don't get locked into place using the shield. I 
Maybe it's just me. Well, no, what I mean is just like, um, in the original, when you, you put, held out the shield, you would, you could, yeah, like that. I could move forward and backward while still facing him. But in this one, oh, hey, look, piece of power, piece of power. Our very first piece of power and a guardian acorn. Do we get to hold both? No. So it's possible to get both on screen at once and one will override the other. The song's not as obnoxious. Hold on. It's playing both songs. Let's go inside and get rid of this this song, though. So let's give Chow Chow the ribbon. We'll get our dog food. And since uh, we're nearby the shore, we might as well run down and grab the... Uh... What did he give us again? It was... Dog food to bananas. Bananas. He gives us the uh, bananas to give uh, to Kiki. Oh, banana. I'm fine with this being a $60 game. I've only played this for 45 minutes, and I'm fine with it being a $60 game. Because it's a really good game so far. Oh my god, this game's great. That was great. I know it's not fair trade, but here's some banana. Can I get an oh banana from y'all? I can't hear it, but I'm gonna assume that you're doing it. We're working on the honor system here. I mean, I, I I can understand why people might be not as inclined to spend 60 bucks, especially on a Zelda game that's uh, a remake of an old game, but, you know, like Iggy said, this is the one of the best Zelda games. It's my one of my favorites. This is my second favorite Zelda game, uh, next to Majora's Mask. So I'm super happy dropping 60 bucks on a full-on proper remake with updated graphics and possibly new stuff. Who th oh, don't tell me. Don't answer this. But do you think maybe they've got the color dungeon? Oh, if they've got the color dungeon. Yeah, Legend of Zelda Lake's Awakening DX was on... I, I will fight you, Iggy. Ah, to get... Ah, mm. Hell yeah, I'm gonna... I'll drop 90 bucks for the DX re-release of uh, the remake. 
I'm a bitch. I'll do it. I don't care. But, like... Okay, here's my thing. I never really gelled with Spyro, and I hated Crash. So, why, why, why get remakes of three games that were okay when you could get the best, one of the, the best mobile Zelda game of all time? It has the Sleepy Toadstool it does. We'll mix it up in something in a jiffy we will. So you don't have to hold on to the item anymore. Why not try a bit in my hut? So now we've got magic powder. Okay, so X and Y are our secondaries. We'll put it on Y. That is such a cool effect. Use it on your enemies to see what happens. You run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I'll make you more. Come back without a toadstool, and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. Okay, I'm curious. That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything. Damn. Yeah, games are, are very undervalued. They really are. And the biggest problem is, is people value games based on time. I'm a change blob! And that's not all I have to say. Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of this island songs on a flute. There are three hot local hits. All three of those blobby bops are magic. Literally. If no other tool will do the job, pull out one of those songs you got stuck in your head. Uh-huh. Okay, so we ran out of his text. That's awesome. Jeez, this game's just, like, dripping with charm. Nope. Ah! Like, games are really expensive to make, not including, you know, marketing and all that. To be quite frankly, games should be 70 bucks. New games should be $70. But we're we're so used to the $60 price tag. Ow. Last thing I remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darnest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but sure was fun. So now that Taran is back to normal, I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. So like, that's that's the kind of problem we've run into. Uh, games are more expensive to make, and they honestly, you know, should cost way more to, to buy. However, we live in a uh, market that doesn't pay people well enough. So unfortunately, those people can't afford to buy games at the appropriate price. So game uh, game companies are forced to undervalue their products in order to actually sell the damn things. That's why the consoles actually lose money for the company when they sell, because they, they end up taking a hit uh, just so that they can sell the damn things. Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now. Windfish is waiting. Hoot. Okay. Magic powder just straight up, like, yeets them out of existence. I'm curious to see what makes these respawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, that didn't respawn. Okay. Wow, it sets them on fire and then makes them explode. That's pretty brutal. 
there we go. So they do, they do, uh, so it looks like it took me around to here. So let's say that's like a two screen difference before, uh, stuff in that screen respawns. I think it did set them on fire in the original, yeah. I tried not to use magic powder because the sword's so much easier. Oh, yeah, there was a little frame rate drop there. Damn it. Doesn't work. Yeah! And look, the uh, it's the Moldorm. The Moldorm is on the pedestals. I wonder if the other bosses are uh, indicated by pedestals outside of the uh, other dungeons too. That is creepy. A lot of uh, tinny noises in this. Everything's very pronounced. Got the compass. Compass has a new feature. Tone will tell you if a key is nearby. So they included that uh, in this as well. That's good. Dungeon's very creepy. Also, does it look kind of dark to you guys? Because it looks kind of dark to me. There, I bumped it up a bit. So it looks so dark on my end. Yeah, but on my end, it's a little more lit. Listen to that little pocking noise. That is a really nice noise. Listen. I love that noise. That is so satisfying. Some Stalfus. And we got the map. This map's awesome. Just like so many, so many changes in this that like. All the other Zeldas could take note from. So without the, uh... Oh, the bats can't fly over the, uh... Fly over stuff. Interesting. Mini Moldorms. That is a really... I like how they did that feature here. Oh, you know what? We should probably go buy bombs. Yeah, not being able to fly over stuff means now we gotta hunt them down. We're actually gonna dip out of this dungeon real quick. 
And we're gonna buy bombs. Oh, right, this room. Yep, this one still looks like a key. Well, actually, no, this is, um, uh, this is shaped like a mold arm. Uh, it's, Dungeon 3 is shaped like a key, because that's Key Cavern. See? Look at that mold arm. Oh, okay. I forgot, oh, we're overworld. Imagine being the main violinist. Playing, uh... Not just playing the overworld theme, but for the actual game. It's gotta be pretty awesome. Oh my god, Rupee save. Need 50 more for the uh, shovel. Let's see if we've got some bombs for sale. My dude! Bombs! Would you- would you- Get some bombs. Nerd. I believe this dude doesn't have any bombs. Just look how much I'm cutting down in one swing. It's so good. And they thankfully put that kid a little bit further away from the uh, shop so you could just cut through. What? There's a secret seashell here. And the little dog girl? Well, we gotta get the secret seashell. Nailed it! Perfect crab. Look at the frog in the upper right. Death. Oh, you little bastard. I am really freaking good at this. I am on point here. I haven't tried the upper ones because that seems a bit trickier, the timing on it. Got another seashell. Put it to your ear to hear those whispered secrets. And then we got this. What's this now? The cha-cha figure that must be somewhere you can display it. Okay, so now I'm wondering if we get all of those figures from this game. I think the crane game is pretty damn easy once you figure out the secret. But if that's only for the stuff that's not moving. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do the moving parts. Does it stand for something? It says Bow Wow. Does it stand for something? It says Chow Chow. Place the Chow Chow figure. We will. There we go. Chow Chow figure. Like the real thing, it requires a lot of love and a lot of patience. So me, basically. So we can't get bombs yet. I'm mad about the fishing. I'm still so freaking salty about that. I'm sure there's a trick to it that I, I wasn't getting. So when I was doing it, the originally when I started doing it, I was just holding down A and that broke the line. That wasn't effective at all. So it seems like tapping A rhythmically uh, had better results, but it snapped right at the end. So there's a, there's a balance between uh, tapping the A button and just trying not to, to do anything. I don't like it. And that's all I'm going to say. Okay. Piece of power, baby. Also seems like the piece of power and uh, guarding acorn disappear when you get something. Ooh, how are you? On our way to get Rock's Feather. No! Well, 
Wait, does it go away after a time? All right, folks, here we go. First 2D section of the game. Ah, they're proper Goombas now. Three heart pieces. And there it is. The rock feather, rock's feather. Now, is this an uh, item? Okay. So, yeah, we do have to set this. The little somersault jump. I don't like it. The rotation's way too hard. It's not, it doesn't look smooth at all. If I'm being honest. Also, it lacks all of the air control of the original. Like, this has no air control whatsoever. Open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. We got the big key. Okay, that doesn't work. And they can't be harmed by that. And apparently you can't hit them in the air either, which is weird. Alright, so we're going to switch these out. This is the stone slab. Well, it's a stone beak. So the stone beak is an item that I never really used in the original when I showed it off. Uh, it's there for hints. Hey, first mini boss. Y'all remember this, dude. Ooh, I'm not very fond of this track at all. It's way too muted. Remember, the original track was like this really loud, uh, high pitch. It had like this sense of urgency. This one was very muted and kind of dull. Let's check out the Moldorm pit. Oh, wow. They swing. Oh, that is extra creepy. That is extra creepy. Jeez. That's right. You can't just open a door by hit it, pressing against it. So, Moldorm fight. Looks like a burger. They just got the bun with the leaves. Okay, this is a new track. I like this remix a lot.
And we got a heart container. First proper one. We've got the cello. Full moon cello. Swamp. Path opens in the blooms. Give it a quick little save there. We say we try the fishing again. I'm gonna give it another shot. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first, I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Gaponga Swamp. Boot indeed. So now we're going to have to go on a rescue for Bow Wow. Hey, there's a green apple. Yeah. Hey, buddy, it's Sears. Hey, look, they even got the, uh, the emergency song. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real, they all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It's a really bad scene with the Moblins. I mean, ah! Might be faster. Find out for yourself what happened. It's terrible! My Bow Wow is dog knacked by Mmoblins! Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow! <laughs> Marin's just there, like, yeah, no, everything's cool. But how are we on seashells? Where's our seashells? Oh, they're there. They have two secret seashells right now. All right, so remembering we can't go that way because we need uh, we need the bracelet to get through it. So we have to head back through the mysterious woods. Shitting dog. There's no glitches are known in this game. Yeah, I know. We can't. I was already gonna. I was gonna mention. Uh, so far, there's no uh, screen warp glitch and no known way to uh, bypass the Kiki sequence. So we're not gonna. There's there's uh, no way to hold on to Bow Wow when we go get Marin, which is unfortunate. Hey, it's a like like. So the first to note is. Uh, on the ground, Link has a horizontal swing, but jumping, he does a vertical swing. Like likes are terrible. They'll eat your items. Alright, so that's how we get into Gaponga Swamp. But we're not ready for that yet. We actually have to head past the witch's house. So, the trick to these gels 
is when you first split them in two, they will immediately jump at you and then affix themselves. So if you don't want to get, you know, globbed, oh my god, uh, you're going to want to walk away from them right after you hit them. So we got another piece of heart. That pond is important later. First, a minor degree is important. Oh, here we are. Out of here, ghost. Oh. Oh. All right, what was the order? What was the order? Oh, so pieces of power do only last a short time. Okay, so what happened there was, and this is something that's in the original as well, uh, when the ghosts appear, if you can take out the original ghost that was in that area when you first walked in, it will kill all the other ghosts. You must have both remarkable power and courage enough to face this trial alone, but we will not open for cowards. I think it is. I think it's in this game. Aha! I figured it out. Oh, I didn't figure it out. All right, didn't reset. Ooh, that sparkling water would look better if it wasn't all blurred out. Oh, this is Crazy Tracy's house. Power and courage. Alright, I wonder if it means we need a, a higher level sword? It looks like I figured out the pattern. In any case, let's head into the Moblin lair. Hey, who's this suspicious looking run? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. I think I ran behind him and he got confused. There's the Moblin boss. Must be an assassin sent by Madame Yao Meow to rescue the mutt. Came here to get me, but it's I who will get you!
There we are. And a little fairy. Come here, you. This is our good friend Bow Wow. You've saved Bow Wow. What a fearsome beast. Go team. I like how Bow Wow can stand on it, but we can't. Oh, there you are. Ooh, that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Kaponga Swamp. Game really, really wants to remind you of the things you're doing. There's a secret seashell here. And we're only a couple of uh, rupees away. Good job. It's honestly terrifying. This makes no sense to not go get the shovel. Since we're only like a few rupees away. Use that for digging. There's also one in there in the small house. Okay, I'm curious if we can actually pull this thing off. They don't even give you a chance. You got a shovel. I was going to try to save and then load to see if that would uh, bypass losing all the rupees, but no. It takes them away almost instantaneously. They really thought about this, didn't they? There we go. How are we on secret seashells? Got three, so two more, and we'll head to the uh, seashell mansion. Over on the prairie. I believe... It's out over in this section. I like how the map has the sections mapped out. There's the windfish egg. And then you can see the different uh, locations. Like, they, they, they did a great job with this. They really did. So everything's still technically based on a tile, but it's there's no transition screen.
There we are. That's four. So let's see. Uh, cemetery. So this is... Say this is a dungeon. Put that spade there. We need to come back for that dungeon. Now I was very good in this game. Oh, other side. So some of the tracks are hit and miss. Some of them are, are good and some of them I'm not super keen on. Overland music's pretty decent. Got some purple rupee. It's 50. Really good water effects. Oh, wow. Yeah, he cleared that freaking entrance. Hardcore. Welcome to the Bottle Grotto. Yeah, so they changed that too. In the original game, when you jump and hit enemies that jumped in the air, you could hit them still. And this, they've got invincibility frames when they jump. That kind of sucks. I think the map's over here. Whoop. Stone beak, awesome. This is definitely going to make uh, these puzzles a little easier to handle. like um it looks like a lot of the enemies that originally would charge you with their shield up uh and you had to hit them from the side now you just have to block to knock them off balance and then hit them that's another big change Because those enemies were annoying. Now we got the compass. There's a chest at the entrance.
Got another small key. And there's another one on the other side. We got to jump back for that. Let's try killing him for some hearts. No hearts, okay. Ah! I didn't hit the button on time. Begging you, game. Give me some hearts, please. Oh, thank you. Then there's this guy. I forgot his name. Whoop. He sucks. Hinox. Well, we beat him. It was a little bit of a tricky one, but we beat him. Shit ass bat. And now the map. Good times. Everything's going according to plan. Twenty rupees. That's the good shit. Okay, we gotta get past the booze. And that gives us... The Power Bracelet! And guess what? Power Bracelet, we don't have to equip. Another big and awesome change for this game. And we got another small key.
There's some treasure down here. Oh, right. Okay. So what was the game? It was Pole's voice. Keys, then, uh, night. Ow. The poles, we can only kill with a pot. Bingo! And that gives us the boss key. Nightmare key. Where does this lead up to? Alright, we don't need to go this way. And then once we get to the entrance, we can just uh, grab that chest. And now we are just a step away from the boss. They look like honey jars from uh, Winnie the Pooh. Does it have the angry face? Yeah, it's got the angry face. All right, boss two, the genie. Okay, the room's different. It's a lot of bloom. The bloom lighting is horrible in this. Can't move, but I am all... Right, your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Yeah, yeah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. So they actually show some damage to the bottle so you know that you actually did something. Oh, and he doesn't say it every time. How how wonderful. There we go. Bottle's gone. You broke my bottle. Why you you make me hopping mad? Oh, it tracks you. I don't like that. Okay, there we go. It tracks you for a short distance and then explodes. And you can interrupt them too if you if you're good enough. Didn't get hit, but I didn't uh, interrupt him. Wow, this is taking way too long. There we go. That ball of there we go. Just waiting for the the hammer to drop there. Got another heart container.
and the conch. The conch horn. Prairie is waiting. The Yukuku Prairie. All right, before we uh, continue, we have one more chest to grab. I think it's rupees. It is rupees. Very nice. And that's this dungeon clear. And now we can lift these. Hey, it's Dompe. What you got, Dompe? Hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm Dompe, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. All right. No, we are, we are not geese here. You're the goose. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island, I could tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons, put some chambers into the slab back there, and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you could use what you've got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you gotta adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. It's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me and there's treasure in it for you. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Got some new chambers, slot them into the dungeon, see what's inside. What are you here for? Uh, let's check it out. Let's check this new uh, feature out. Dungeon Arranging 101. I started this one on read. Can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the Nightmare's Lair. There's gotta be a stop along the way for the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you gotta connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Take chambers from the menu on the right with A, slap them on the tiles left with A. Uh, sometimes you want a chamber with a particular set of exits, uh, so you can flip through the list with left and L and R triggers. Okay, so based on these tiles that I see, so the number one just shows rooms with a single exit, and then these are rooms with two exits and rooms with three exits. And these are rooms with uh, exits uh, left, right, top, exits left, right, bottom. So there's all different kinds of sections we can... An exit in a chamber might turn into a locked door or a shutter, depending on which chamber you hook it up to. There are rules for which type of exit gets the right of way. You learn them pretty quick as you go. Sometimes you think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning from red to blue like it should. When it happens, press Y to check and see what's wrong with it. Unconnected chambers and unconnected exit.
One chamber with stairs isn't enough. You should put a second stair too, that way they'll link up. Press Y to check on how your stairs connect. Okay. So it looks like we're just taking rooms from, uh, all the dungeons we've been to and then arranging them in different ways. The entrance lights up green. The job's done. Press A on the entrance to go to adventuring in your new dungeon. While you're on your adventure in the chamber dungeon, I'll set you up with all bombs and such you need. Once it's done, you'll have whatever you had before. All right, let's try this uh, challenge out. The goal of an adventure in this dungeon is get to the end and beat the nightmare. Try not to run out of hearts before you get there. If you want to quit, press uh, plus and hit. She's quit adventuring. Got a key. Now, if you kill a gel with a pot, they uh, don't split. So I'm curious. We take we take this path. It does, in fact, bypass that uh, need for that key. So it's possible to create a. Uh, it's possible to create m slightly complex dungeons that allow you to bypass certain challenges. Which is pretty clever. Oop. Got me. chest. More rupees. I wonder if it's possible to just make like a mini boss dungeon. Oh, it forces you off of, it forces you off of the tile if it's a chest. I like that. Now we got a mini boss fight, and then the boss. This mini boss is one of the easiest. Okay. So, what boss do we fight? Boulder arm, alright. Ah. Alright, we beat that challenge. Not bad. 
What a show! There were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. What's this? We got another chamber. Okay. Rupees you find around the dungeon are a little bonus for me. You can keep them once the adventure's over. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. Uh. Alright, so... Alright, interesting. That's an, an extra bonus for this. So we'll come back and do more of that later. Let's visit Crazy Tracy. Hey there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. Got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my secret. Yep. All right, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again. Here's some bonus. All your hearts are full. So, basically, this is like having a fairy. And it'll protect us uh, from one death. Pretty sure there's uh, another seashell over here. There we go. So how many do we have now? Five. All right, let's head to the, uh... Let's head to the mansion. So here's a teleporter. They look a slightly different. Some strange energy is pouring from here. You should find out what it does. We will eventually. This has creepy little things from uh or there's the uh the old pig stone. And this is where we gotta meet Taryn. And there's level three. Really, what I want to do is just make my way to the mansion. Whoop. There is a heart piece up there we're going to want to grab. Oh, there should be a there should be a seashell up there, but let's get to the uh, mansion first. Candlelit Castle. So to kill these things, they're a little trickier since you can't hit them in the air. You gotta make them jump, and then you have to hit them when they land, or try to hit them when they're spitting. That's the secret entrance to the animal village. It's weird that they don't let you hit enemies in the air anymore. Oh, there it is. I think they changed the location? Nope. It's where it always was. Let's get in here. I am the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone, one who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells, then ascend the platform. You will see the ultimate sword. They don't even they don't even keep it sacred this time. Sounds like you should come back with lots of shells and try standing on the platform. So 
So it looks like 515. I wonder if there's a lot of them. Oh, they don't just give you a shell now. They actually give you something of value. Nice. I appreciate that. So every seashell that you see up there is a prize. And it looks like a single block is worth five. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 shells possibly? You get the sword? They doubled the uh, the value? Or doubled, doubled the value. They doubled the amount you need to get. That's wild. There's Kiki up in the uh, upper right. Alright, so we're gonna head back to the village, to Mabe Village. Ah! Bomb in my face! I swear there's one here. Or not. Alright. Can't dig up flowers. Oh, there's one up there. But we can't get to it from here. We have to go around. Also, there's a cave. Let's go in the cave. What awaits us in the cave? Ah. A heart piece. And some rupees. Alright, so how do we do this again? Yeah, okay. This, here, lift, toss, heart piece get. Oh, and we've got plenty for the, uh, another heart piece at the, uh, shop. And the bow is here for 980 goddamn rupees. So we want, first we want our bombs. Then we want a heart piece. And now we've got another heart. Whew! So now we got to get that bow. That's going to be a bit of time before that happens. Let's see what's uh, new at the crane game. A Goomba and a brick. Alright, let's grab that... Uh, Oh, there's a whole heart, I guess. All right, so we're gonna grab that purple rupee first. Then we'll grab that heart. Then we'll try grabbing, we'll try to see how bad this is. I'm not sure about this timing. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to count the seconds on this one. <laughs> One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. So about five seconds for the claw to actually grab. How long did they stay there? One Mississippi. Two. Oh, wow. They stay there for a second. So we need to plan this four seconds in advance. Well, not really, because how, how long does it take to, for it to slide across? Let's find out. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, 
three Mississippi, four Mississippi. About four seconds, right? So we got to plan it one second ahead. Ah! I completely screwed that up. I don't think I got it this time. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> First try, bitches. I don't count that misfire. <laughs> Hell yeah. Should we get? Oh, it's a big heart. It's not. It's not a. Okay. We got a chamber stone. All right. Our wallet is bursting. Even better. <laughs> Thank you, physics. Please, somebody clip that. I think it's safe to say that I have mastered the crane game. Was wonderful. I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. And we got a big old kiss. We got a reward from Madame Meow Meow. Lucky. Bow Wow is happy to be where they are. I see now Bow Wow's not uh, trying to attack us. They're following us happily. So who, who gets the Goomba? Hey, Marin. Let's go find out who gets the Goomba. Oh, Dream Shrine. We can actually do that. No, we can't. We need, to, we need the Dash Boots. We could technically do it, but I wouldn't recommend it. As Boo or Spiny or Shy Guy. What's this one up here? Pokey. Okay, so they don't get it. Maybe it's back at uh, Marin Taren's house. A stand for something it says piranha plant. Stand for something that says Goomba. Here we go. Put that Goomba right down there. Looking beautiful. Taryn just chowing down on nanners. Hungry something fierce, so I went and got bananas at the beach. If you want some, you should go and get some. 
Well, I personally don't like bananas, but I do like this game a lot. Uh, this is a really good remake. Uh, and that is where we're going to call it. Thank you all so much for coming by and watching. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Later.